I work for Giving for Thurrock on one day a week. Um, and then I do another couple of projects with Thurrock CVS on other days of the week. Um, Thurrock, uh, Giving for Thurrock is something called a place-based initiative. Uh, it was something that started in London many, many years ago. Um, and Thurrock is one of the first out of London boroughs to ever bring it here. And what it kind of... Um, the whole focus is we connect communities to businesses who might want to support where they, they live and where their staff sort of live and work and everything. Um, but we also raise funds, we encourage volunteering, but what the the whole premise of it is, is everything we do, every activity, every fundraising we do, goes directly back into Thurrock, so it never leaves the borough. Um, and with the intelligence that we gain from other services in the Beehive, but also outside of the Beehive, we know that a particular area in Tilbury might need something, or a particular area in Chapel might need something else. So we don't go on, if you go to a national charity, the, the money that is spread across the whole country, irrespective of who needs what, we can actually target that person needs help, that's an individual, that's a group. Mm -hmm. um, so we can say, right, those funds are available to you. It's all done by application, so it's all very sort of um, transparent. Um, we've got some criteria around helping uh, looked after children, young carers, reducing isolation, but basically just making communities stronger. Um, so that's what Giving for Thorough is. It's the Mayor's Charity, one of the Mayor's Charities. And um, we've done various things over the year, um, raising bits and pieces all over the place. Um, it was initially launched in September 2017, um, and, um, and we've kind of sort of built it up from there so that we have an ongoing amount of applications. Um, the main difference is, is, so for example, the other week we had an application for somebody who wasn't getting out very much, um, could really do with some transport. He couldn't afford a car or anything like that. Um, so he applied for some funds to buy a push bike so he could stay connected with his family who lived in a different town. It didn't really meet the criteria, but what we was able to do is we matched him, and it literally was two phone calls, we matched him with a local resident that had a second-hand bike, and we matched them, put them together. Um, one of our looked after uh, local area coordinators physically did the running around and we matched him with the person that's got the bike. He now has the bike. She has got something out of her garage that was getting all a bit sort of rusty and dusty. Um, but we've kind of made those connections because we understand what the local need is. Um, so we've done various things throughout the whole year. Um, but I got to the point where I felt all we was doing was tapping people on the shoulder, constantly saying, can you give a little bit, can you give a little bit? And it seemed to be very similar people supporting or helping out. So I suggested what we did was, let's do a day of community action, called it Giving for Thurrock Day, um, and potentially if it's a success, we'll do it every single year. And we'll ask everybody, whether you're an individual, an organisation, a business, a group, doesn't matter, um, give something. So be, we were very non uh, prescriptive about it. So if giving to you looks like 10 minutes to go and chat with a neighbour, brilliant. The legacy of that is maybe the following week you might go and have another chat with that neighbour and kind of look after people in the neighbourhood. Um, if it's about fundraising, and that can be like a small raffle or a large donation, then um, that's brilliant as well. If all you can do is spend the day being kind to people, then that's fine as well. But the main issue was let us know what you're doing so we can celebrate all the giving that goes on in the day. So we've got um, IKEA is doing activities and fundraising for us the day after so they can, so they can sort of um, focus on the, the footfall on a Saturday rather than a Friday. We're holding a tea party, a superhero tea party here. So we've got um, a guy called Darren coming down whose little boy's got a terminal disease, Crab's disease. Um, he's been in the newspaper recently and what he's going to do is he's going to offer support to people that might be facing adversity and what he did to get through it. So he wrote some books, they've been published, he's now fundraising for his son with those books 
Um, and then the illustrator from those books is also going to come down on, on the Friday and um, he's going to show people how to make a superhero, who have to draw oh, one. Nice. So we'll be offering tea and cake and support and advice for anybody that wants to come on. We, doors are open from 2 o'clock on Friday the 29th of March. Um, there's various other things. We've got people going into residential homes, literally just playing games, having conversations, and giving up their time and running errands. So that's somebody over there. They've got lots of raffles. We've got the community hubs are getting involved. So basically, we're just going to celebrate all the good things just on that one day. Hopefully continue it year after year. So that's why I bought this, okay. to show you all about it. And, the, and so, um, so if people want to get involved with that, there's information packs, there's, you, know, you can download pledge cards and just really pretty much shout what you're doing on that day. So if it's having tea with neighbours, brilliant. If it's raising thousands of pounds, brilliant. You know, okay. so. so how important do you think your organisation is to the local community? Well, the Giving for Thorough Fund is massively important, particularly, to, obviously, to the people that apply for the funds, um, because it gives them access to funds that they would never be able to, to, to do. Our application form is pretty simple. We only ask for, once it's all done, done and dusted, whatever it is that you wanted the funding for, just write us a short piece to tell us what happens, really. And, um, and we're here to support people. The idea is if... For us, for a community group, it might be that they they apply to us initially for a fund that's going to help local people or local group, um, and then that kind of gives them a little bit of a dry run to perhaps making a larger application if the uh, if the the project that they're doing is successful, and then we can Thorough CVS can help them with a larger application maybe uh, later but it, what's really important is and I remember a few years ago I, I walked up Ben Nevis and I raised about £2,000 for a national charity I have no idea where that money's gone I have no idea who benefited from it how much was, was on back office machine to make that money so the following year when I raised some more money what I did was I went and actually went to a couple of play groups found out what they needed, raised the money, and then I physically gave them the stuff, um, knowing that those kids in the playgroup would be impacted immediately. And I knew where my money was going, so I knew that it was for the right causes. So I think for Giving for Thorough, it it's important for businesses to actually be able to say, that's where my money's going, I'm supporting my staff and, and people... Um, in the area where I work, so it's it's good for corporate social responsibility. They can um, they can say right, we do this for our lo- local area, which is a good thing. Brings the team together. I think it's important for individuals if they want to donate, they know where again their money's going to go. It's helping their friends, their neighbours, their local community, um, and obviously it's it's good for the individual because they are actually getting something that is is. Um, they're going to get those funds, which is going to help people. So we've we've already given out um, about oh, we've got about four thousand, five thousand that's gone. There's another four or five thousand that are being looked at at the moment, um, and those 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 grants that we've given out, some of them are for one or two individuals, others um, are for whole groups, which it, which makes sure that. They have to involve the whole community into it. It has to target more than just um, the particular um, people that they've raised the money for. It's got to go out wider. They've got to spread it out wider. So um, so there's another group, um, the Marshall Academy, that received a, a funding grant. And what they are doing is they're putting on a whole year's worth of exercise classes for uh, young people in Tilbury where the obesity... Um, is the highest out of the whole borough. So they're they're literally providing this whole class. Um, they're paying a pound. People have got to pay a pound rather than six pound. So it's a really reduced cost. But within that class of boxer size, I think they're doing. Um, they're also going to be teaching the kids healthy eating, why you need to look after your body and things like that. But it's targeted because that's where the need is. So they made the application. That was okay, and that's where that's going now. So it sort of... it. It helps because it, it it's not just a blanket, there's a pot of money, there's a pot of money that is needed over there and needed over there. It's very much local need driven.